everyone. It is Char from Char's Fashion Nation and I hope you can hear me because I have no way to do voiceovers. So today what I'm going to do, I'm sorry I have to scrunch down. Um, <sighs> so before I uh, get started on a new pattern. As you can see, I'm laying out a new pattern. As everybody knows, I don't have anything to really hold down pattern pieces, so I'm using some of my Death Wish merch to actually hold down <laughs> my, um, my paper and uh, using uh, my Sun City Soaps and Candles Candy Apple uh, Lip Balm for my lips. Always keep your lips moisturized. Uh, and I'm going to try to make this a quick video. Mm, it's the best. Try this and use my non-expiration code. Shars. Fashion Nation, or I should say Shards Nation 10 for a 20% off your entire purchase. I'll leave that around here for you. Um, anyway, so I have something coming up that requires me soon to have something very, I don't know, uniquely adequate of sorts to have something very fancy so um i'm deciding to take you know a pair of sweatpants as what i'm going to take now also coming up this year which you guys can look forward to i will have something else with um, upcycling clothes. So look forward to that. Now I'm actually going to make this a high-waisted pant. And I'll bring you guys over here as soon as I'm done thinking that's high-waisted enough, which to hear for me, I think it's high-waisted enough. So I'm, I'm going to match that up to where my phone is holding it right there. Now, I want this to be a flare leg on purpose. I am not a person to wear a skirt. I can't stand skirts. So I'm actually going to mark an X right here where the gusset piece, the back gusset piece is for this, okay? So this is the back gusset piece right here. So you want to make sure that's marked actually right here so let's go ahead and mark that now a lot of people will also do it right here for your flare leg of course you want to make sure that that's totally marked but you also want to make sure when you do a proper flare leg you do it from both the back and the front that way it completely matches you don't just want to come along swoop it along here because then that's going to be too tight in the back and too loose in the front. Or you'll have it too tight in the front and too loose in the back. And we don't want that. So actually when you do this, you want to make sure that since you have this X here, you're coming out and... You're matching it with the corner of the paper. I'll clean this up, but you're matching it with the corner of the paper. Now, these used to be filled skirts. It's 
all of you know, I'm Native American and black. So I do have a lot of like cultural history in my blood. I do have a lot of cultural history. Do I celebrate the history months for that? You know what? I believe we all bleed the same color. I'm going to leave it at that. I believe we all bleed the same color. That's what, but that's just my belief. I believe we all bleed the same color. Okay. So, normally, I just go like this and I'll just bring it down because you just, you just want to leave enough spacing here just to bring it down because I we all bleed the same yes sweeties we all bleed the same color um maybe old but I ain't stupid <laughs> Okay, and then when we go to cut the, I'm just going to move the backpack over here to hold this down, okay? My cultural belief may not be the same as everybody's, but I'm sorry, I have to tell the truth. I believe we all believe the same. That's just me. Now, if you can't see the pattern that I drew out, I used a graph pencil to draw this out. So that's why I'm really hoping that you could see it. Now, if you can't see it, I can always go back in with the marker where that X is. Then I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, but obviously, I'm going to go ahead and cut this um and then of course that'll be the back half of the pattern opposed to having the front half which will be the other side and like I said these are going to be flare leg uh, pants and a lot of people think a flare leg is a specific way like a bell bottom. Bell bottoms and boot cut are not the same. A lot of people have that confused. Don't confuse your bell bottoms and your flare legs. Those are completely different. Your boot cut, your flare leg, and your bear, your bell bottom are completely different cuts of um, pants. Now this will get labeled. How am I going to do the top waistbanding? You might want to know that I'm losing an exponential amount of weight. It could be my thyroid is making me lose this weight. The thyroid fluctuates. That's just how that is. Um...
There. It's labeled. Yeah. Can't burn them. I'll finish labeling that later. But it's back pants for now. But trust and believe that I believe that we are all here for a reason. And, um, you know, I have a, a lot of people that I watch on YouTube. And I absolutely love. Sometimes um, I'm down sick. And, you know, I have to take time for myself when I'm down sick. And uh, my viewers understand this when I'm down sick. Like Anne. Uh, Anne Rankin understands when I'm down sick. Um, and then I had somebody make some nasty comment on Instagram. Uh, and uh, also to uh, the, the owner of Slay Glam. Now, that that's pretty darn sad. Like, Slay Glam and I were DMing each other, and we're cool with each other. We're cool with each other. Like, we, you know, we have an understanding because we both have chronic illness, and, uh... So we understand each other's points of chronic illness. And never take advantage of somebody with chronic illness. I have chronic illness. But there's days where I just can't do this stuff. Uh, Annika Victoria has chronic illness that recently sent her to the hospital. And sweetie, I, I'm glad you're home with your uh, beloved Luchi. And I hope you're able to get back to finishing the mock-up of your wedding dress soon. So that soon you can be betrothed to your beloved Luchi. See, this is what I mean. Like, even I have health issues. Um, I've been getting a lot of muscle spasms lately from my uh, my epilepsy. But I deal with it, and I don't let it really stop me. I need to get some of this fabric off the floor. I really do. And yarn. Oh, no, that's yarn. I've been yarning my way through some stuff. makes any sense to you. Anyway, so yarning is long. Darning is long. <laughs> this would actually be in the history down in the community a um, Edwardian style pant. In a sense, for something that's a flare leg pant, this would be something in an Edwardian style flare leg, which is what I'm going for. Uh, so, yeah, this would be an Edwardian style flare leg 
that I'm going for here. Uh, you'll have to excuse my Knights Templar flag, as I am a proud Templar Knight. Um, you're like, oh my gosh, um, you thought we were all gone. Um, no. So, this, this is the back. Now, um, this will be part one of just cutting this out, uh, because I have to choose through my fabric stash, which I, I, all right, guys, you know I have this red fabric are two things of red fabric that I said that I wanted to use. And some white fabric for a shirt. Yes, my friends. And I'm going to use one. So I might actually put up a poll with a picture of both fabrics. So I might put up a poll on my Instagram. a poll on here and the poll that I put on here choose from those two red fabrics which one you want me to use for the flare leg pant and it's the same thing on my Instagram which fabric do you think would go best with the cream color fabric sorry I gotta move some tissues um I would show that to you but like that was from an epilepsy bloody nose this morning and I would get demonetized and we don't want that um so yeah let me get that glare gone um so yeah I'm going to do that so I'm going to put a poll out also I will be having a Char's fascination um, upcycling your clothes part series coming up, um, on, uh, keeping, how to keep your clothes out of, I haven't really thought of a catchy, uh, title for it yet, but I am trying to think of it. Um, well, wait, hold on. I may have just thought about this. Char's Fascination Creative Ways to Upcycle Your Clothes and Keep Things Out of the Landfill. Creative Creations. How to Keep Things Out of the Landfill. And upcycle your clothes. Oh my gosh. Now see. There you go. I'm always thinking of something. I've gotten these upcycle creation ideas from Annika Victoria. And from uh, Cool Erpa, April. I really have to thank her for the upcycle thought for a uh, hoodie I'm thinking about doing, which means I actually have to go get that zipper. I have a bunch of zippers. I just haven't used them yet. Um, I have a bunch of shirts and stuff that I will be upcycling to make things like hoodies, um, shirts, um, shorts, sweats. Oh my gosh, there's just so many cute things that you can upcycle. Um, like a hoodie vest. There's already a shirt that I made that's kind of in the tone of an acras. Uh, uh, there you go. Um, <laughs> now you know I must have had a seizure earlier. Sorry about that because I, I really did have a bloody nose. Um, an Assassin Creed style shirt, um, which I had upcycled out of a pair of pants from the shore, right? That they said was in my size, but really it wasn't. 
So I upcycled that pair of shore pants and um, a t-shirt and turned it into a sleeveless shirt with seven pockets. Like, genius. <laughs> genius. So it's like it has the kangaroo pocket in the front with like pocket central <laughs> and then on the sides because like I ripped open the sides sewed in the side part of the pant leg and like I took what was um main parts of that fabric from the pant and made that into um, not just the hood. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to show this to you guys. It's, it's in the Foot Locker. Um, and made that not into just the hood, but the pocket sleeve on the front of the shirt. It's like you know, the trim on it. And I took the sleeves from the shirt and made that into the pocket on the front of the shirt. And, like, you guys, serious. Like, what you can do to upcycle with the clothing that you already have. And just turn it into other things. I mean, everybody already knows you can take a t-shirt or a tank top and turn it into a shopping bag. Okay, or just a cute little handbag. Okay, I'm not a person to wear a handbag, but you can turn it into that. Um, but I like to take things that are wearables and turn it into other wearables. All right, if you want to know what I was using to hold down the fabric, this is a Death Wish coffee keychain. Isn't that freaking? Cool. That's freaking cool. Um, so I was using that as a weight. <laughs> I was using that as a weight on there. So anyway, guys, um, I have to give my back a rest. I've just recently dropped. Um, oh my gosh, I was weighing two thirty, and I'm down to two seventeen. And I just dropped that amount of weight in a week. That's a lot of weight to lose in a week. Um, just my thyroid went, boom, you're going to lose that weight. And it came off just like that. Um, yeah. Uh, so, and having seizures doesn't help. So, uh, but for everybody else out there, <laughs> I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Because you know what? Every day is a blessing. And I will see you later.